More Mutt Lang magic, this time on Love Bites by Def Leppard. Next on Music Surgery, with me, Dr. Bob. Hey, you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. So, had Mutt just made the stereotypical groove on this song, it would have been fantastic. But, let's dive deeper into his brain and find out what he did to take it from fantastic to iconic. Alright you guys, cool stuff this week. Another great, great technique by Mutt. We all love Mutt. You know, all know that I do. So, let me play this and we'll discuss it. So we have kind of a mid-tempo, uh, lower to mid-tempo groove, kind of like Love Bites. Love Bites, Love Bleeds, off the stereo, huge hit. Um, so what we've got is we've got the hi-hat doing the 16th notes to drive the beat. Very typical of what a drummer would play or any uh, one of us would program. So let's think outside the box like Mutt did. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a shaker. So that shaker's on the upbeat, and what Mutt did to carry and syncopate the rhythm is he added a delay, and that's to like a shaker that sounds like this. I mean, such a, a more mysterious, cool ethereal way of getting across the motion of a groove. So I have also added some EQ without that. Which is fine. I mean, we're not playing this against a song, so we don't really know what kind of EQ we need. But so what this is, is a simple eighth note delay now the reason it's eighth note and not 16th note is because my tempo is set to 143 so if that's confusing don't let it be what you want the de what you want this delay to be is ba -ba 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 -ba. and i've set the feedback to kind of feedback is how many times how long the delay lasts so here i'll show you i've sent it longer now shorter but what we want it to do is kind of we want the feedback to basically last as long as it needs to from here to here perfect what a killer way to just promote the the motion of the groove instead of just So, simple, one shake of a shaker. Now, what he also did, and I've panned that off to the left, is he got another sound that was drastically different than the shaker, like this. Which, that's kind of a cowbelly sound. Is cowbelly a word? A cow belly is, but sorry. And we've done the same thing. We have an eighth note shaker with our feedback set. So between these two, pan to the left and pan to the right, now we have lots of emotion.
I mean, so much more interesting. Uh, for fun, I brought in another sound in the middle, which is, what is that? A tambourine. Just a tambourine hit. I've also truncated it to be shorter. So we have... Again, eighth note delay. If your tempo would be set to half of this, you would want this to be 16th note delay. And these sounds are all pretty wet. So we're getting a lot more of the delay sound than the initial sound. And at the end, I put one more. A clave. Very soft. Now let me turn this stuff on crushed it with a delay. So all together. Let me loop that. You can kind of get a feel for it. Now with that crushed, I might have to bring some of this feedback down on the clave. So we're swimming in motion and emotion rather than the normal thing we would all do, which is cool. Makes that sound terrible. You know, and the other thing you can do to some of this, uh, which I did to the clave, I also put some reverb after the delay. So just for fun, let me pull some of those over and see what happens with that. Kind of got the wet dry at about, this would be totally wet, but dry. Kind of adds a little more spacey room to it. Let's see how it sounds. Super cool. Now, obviously, depending on all the instruments that would be in a song like this would, you know, it would dictate to you how loud these um, percussive parts would need to be, how much delay or reverb would need to be on them, what kind of EQ they would have. You could even put some distortion on to drive them more. But the Love Bites technique, it just makes it so much more interesting to swim in the motion of something, and, and, and you just get the 3D image much more than just the motion of a 16th note hi-hat. Well, there you go. Thinking outside of the box doesn't always have to be super difficult or super imaginative. Something this simple can make such a huge difference. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below, and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.